spins. That's so cool. Wait a minute. Where the heck did the mattress go? What's up YouTube? Um, Cobra here with uh, a deck profile. I want to start doing these uh, segments with the end. Uh, quick and easy deck profiles and uh, you know get them in and out of here pretty quickly and give you guys um, basic decks. Today we're going to be looking at uh, what I call post Cosmo Blazer X Sabers. Uh, and it's really not you know being too specific. Uh, you know I could tinker with this some more maybe throw in a Grand Soil card troopers change the deck around but I figured I'd give you a generalized X Saber deck and what Cosmo Blazer can do to help the deck out itself. Uh, also, before uh, I begin, do not pay attention to the side decks. Side decks on most of my decks in DN are literally just other ideas that didn't make the final cut for the deck, or you know, didn't ha that the, they have potential, but they're not in there just because. Um, and I'll explain stuff that's in there as to why they are listed here and such. But uh, to get into this, um, give you guys the uh, deck itself real quick. Uh, we have one X Saber Arabellum, three Emmer's Blade, three Full Helm Knight, three Dark Soul, two Pashul, three Fultural, three Bogart. I'm sorry, that's not really a specific order, but um, spells we have one Reborn, one Dark Hole, one Avarice, two Saber Slash, one Reinforcements of the Army, two Fire Dance, ten Kai, two MST, two Pot of Duality, and for Traps we have triple Gotham Z Call. Uh, two bottomless, two torrential, two warning, one solemn judgment, one starlight road. Uh, extra deck, like I said, side deck doesn't count. Extra deck, we have one catastrophe, uh, hyper librarian, naturia beast. For our sixes, we have two hyunlei, one gaia knight, one barkion. Sevens, we have black rose and x saber sauza. Eights, we have starter dragon, scrap dragon. Nine, we have gotums. And uh, for Exceeds, we have three rank threes, uh, which are Soul of Silver Mountain, number 17, Leviathan Dragon, and Wind Up Zen Mains. Um, before going into it in depth, uh, you could potentially drop Soul of Silver Mountain for Mistworm, but I didn't want to make it so uh, synchro heavy that I couldn't run Exceeds. And like I said, I haven't really given this deck any testing yet, uh, but it's just like my idea off the top of my head. Uh, was, as to how I would play this deck after Cosmic Blazer's release. Um, so basically, how I got interested in the deck is uh, the Fire Dance cards, as I was going through them, I found Tenkai to be pretty interesting, and the other one in that side deck there, I forget its name, um, but what that one actually does is it lets me uh, normal summon an additional Beast Warrior type monster in addition to my normal summoner set. But I didn't really think it was going to do too much, especially if, you know, you, you get your double monster combo off with Bogard Knight anyway, so unless you had like an extra other monster in your hand, it was kind of dead, and I just figured double summon if anything. So I found Tenkai to be really interesting because it allows you to, it's it's Rota for Beast Warriors, level 4 lower Beast Warriors, and though your only Beast Warrior in an X-Saber deck is Bogart Knight, he's a pretty powerful X-Saber, and you would love to have him in your hand as fast as possible. And yes, you have Dark Soul for that, but if you have um, the ability to, if you have a Tenkai in hand, uh, and you have a Dark Soul on board, it allows you, with Dark Soul's effect, to get a different combo piece, because you already can search the Bogart through means of Tenkai. So what's cool is, say you have a Tenkai, a Dark Soul face down, and you already have your other, say you have a Pashul in your hand, um, Dark Soul gets destroyed, instead of searching Bogart, since you have a way to search it, grab a Faltrel and allow yourself to pull bigger combos off next turn without, you know, having to be like, oh, I need to blow up their back row, but I also need to go off. Now you have the option. Um, also, certain uh, deck choices of mine. Uh, one, I'm not opting to play Heavy Storm. Uh, it's just a personal opinion. I have Hyunlei to do that, double Hyunlei. And with the amount of traps that I run, I feel like sometimes it could, you know, get in the way of I'd have to blow up something of mine to mess around with my opponent's back row. So that's why we just have the two MSTs. Uh, we also have, like I said, double healing. We also have double Saber Slash. Saber Slash, by the way, has been a tech of mine for a very long time. Uh, it allows you to destroy a number of face-up cards on the field equal to the number of face-up attack position X-Sabers you control. 
Uh, and this effect activates at resolution, so they cannot start that road, regardless, because it's not, uh, you don't know how much you're destroying at resolution of the card effect. So it's really cool that it doesn't get roaded. Uh, and it blows up face-up cards, so in addition to if they have, like, you know, Royal Decree out or some field spell you want to get rid of and such and such, face-up spell and trap, you can also get rid of them through Saber Slash. And it's also, like, the smashing ground of the deck. And I think it's really helpful. Uh, it helped me in a lot of tournaments when I played X-Sabers way back in the day. Um, but it's it's a really cool tech, I think. And, uh, yeah, I could drop it to one, make this deck a 40-card deck. But every time, like... I find a deck needs some type of a smashing ground. You always want to use at least two. So that's why there's double saber slash. Uh, moving on to fire dance, Tenkai. Also, a uh, little thing on that. I could run three because Avarice is in this deck, but I don't want it to clog. I don't want an early, you know, double Tenkai with a Bogart and a Bogart already in hand or some way to get Bogart, and then you kind of like have the last Tenkai dead. Uh, you can only activate one per turn. Another cool thing on it is it makes all Beast Warrior type monsters you control gain 100 attack. Uh, like I said, you only play one per turn, but it's whatever. The cool thing about it giving all Beast Warriors 100 attack is, so you search a Bogart with it, and now it's face up on the field continuous. You then summon Bogart, and you know do your combo, whatever. If you need to run over a T King before you exceed or synchro, Bogart is now 2K thanks to Fire Dance 10K. So it allows you to just get over those 19 annoyances of T Kings and uh, you know continue to go off, or you know just punch for 2,000. It's always one fourth damage for you. Other than that, guys, it's a pretty standard X Saber deck with, you know, my two tech Saber Slashes and Fire Dance 10Ks to speed up search ability. Um, in addition to search ability, obviously we run uh, two Pot of Duality. I just like Pot of Duality and X Sabers. Um, also running the one Starlet Road because I feel like this format Starlet Road's pretty boss, does exactly what it needs to do, and with the amount of back row I'm running, can get in there. Um, I'm not running Book right now or mind control just for lack of space uh, I could potentially change you know like a saber slash or drop the starlet road if need be for one or both of those cards and um, you know and there's no space really for compulses d prisons etc etc right now so that's why they're all in like the side deck as other options but yeah guys other than that um, let me know what you guys think about my uh, what I've been calling Tenkai X sabers um, Gonna post uh, probably a few more of these uh, DN decklist videos this week because uh, I think I'm gonna really enjoy this segment. Uh, and uh, you know, anytime soon, if we can get uh, start actually getting segments on this channel, I would be uh, really thrilled to do so. Uh, two of the team members uh, that I've been talking to lately about uh, you know coming back together and recreating a little Team 50 seem like they're really on board. They really want to do it. And uh, gonna hit up my locals. I think tomorrow. Um, for some live deck profiles from other people. So, uh, yeah, guys, other than that, uh, comment, rate, subscribe, you know, all the usual YouTube BS, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.